Hi guys and welcome back to Basic Monday. In the last episode you have created your first web page. If you didn't watch the previous episode I will link it here above and in the description below. So feel free to stop this one and come back later. Otherwise, let's continue. In this episode we are going to validate the HTML that we have written in our first web page. Let's get started. Okay, here I have opened the project of the last web page that we have created, where uh, we have a simple HTML structure. Now there are some services online to validate your web page. The best one and the more official one is the W3 validator. I will add the, the link in the description below. Okay, let's open the validator. And uh, we see that we can insert the URL or we can upload the file or we can validate by direct input because the website that we have is only in the local machine and so I will just copy paste the content of it. Let's copy and then let's paste it. Let's press check and here are the results. So there is one warning and one error. The error is related with the doc type. Now in the previous lesson I didn't mention the doc type because we were just at the begin. But in this episode I want to tell you more about it. The doc type is nothing else than the declaration of the HTML version. Now from the extension of the file that is .html the browser will recognize that the language used in the page is the HTML. But to tell to the browser which is the version of the HTML that is used then we are using the doc type. Nowadays the doc type use is the one that is written here in the error statement and it's the doc type that is referring to the HTML5 version. There are many others doc type that I will link in the description below and they are related with the previous versions of HTML. So now let's get this doc type, let's place it here and uh, let's uh, test again the page. Check. Okay, now we have just one warning that is related with the attribute lang. So the lang attribute is referring to the language of the page. So if you wrote this page in English, then you use lang equal en. If you wrote this page in Italian, you will use lang equal IT, yes for Spanish and then so on for the other languages. Now one thing that I just said is that the lang is an attribute. So I didn't mention attributes in the previous episode. The attributes are representing additional informations that we attach to the tags element. So they are properties of the tag and we are declaring it with the name equal value. In this case the lang attribute should be attached to the HTML tag. So let's go to our index.html and let's add the lang attribute and we set it up as en, English. Let's say, copy, paste again in the evaluator, let's check and uh, the document checking is complete and there are no errors or warnings. So congratulations, you are just validated your first web page. In the next episode of Basics Monday, we are going to go deeper in the basics of the HTML. So if you want more information about this and continue to learn web development, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, etc. etc. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!